Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the MaxFree S1 single screen extender. We're going to do a short unboxing and installation guide. So we're going to go ahead and open things up now and see what's inside. So opening the box, we're going to see a couple different things inside. Um, we'll go ahead and get this open now and put the box over here. So first we have our carrying case. We have obviously our carrying strap here and in the front we have a pouch to put all of our cables and then our screen extender itself. We'll put these right here. It's only about a little over a pound and a half, so quite portable and easy to bring with you on the go. This is going to be our Type-C to Type-C. This is our HDMI to Type-C. This will be our USB to Type-C. And then here in the bottom, we're going to have our installation and user guide. So next, we're going to be installing our screen extender. It's actually quite easy. So we're just going to pull it apart, lift up the top here, and then there will be a brace in the middle. So we'll open this up all the way, and then we'll bring our laptop over here now. So all we have to do is pull it apart to fit the size of our computer. And then here on the back, we'll have this stand. So we'll just twist it to the middle, pull it out all the way to the desired angle. And then we can move this. And then there we go. So next, we're going to be connecting our screen extender to our laptop. We're going to use one of the included Type-C to Type-C cables that we have. So first, we'll connect our laptop here. And then we'll run this through the bottom and then connect to our type C on the back. So one great thing about this screen extender as well, you can actually rotate it almost an entire 180 degrees depending on what angle that you want it to be in. So now we're going to look at how to actually set up the screens with our laptop. So we're on Windows here, so I'm going to go to my display settings. Right now I have it set to extend, so we're going to go ahead and identify and make sure our computers recognize our second monitor. So by doing this, I can have multiple windows open in different places. So if I want to have my stocks or my crypto market open here, and I can have YouTube or something like that open on my left monitor. So another option that we have, if we want to have the mirrored display, we'll go to Duplicate, and then we'll keep these changes. And now we can see that our screen is the same. So if we want to select between different audio sources, we can open our sound settings here. And then by doing so, we can choose if we want to have our sound coming from our main computer or from our extended display. So if we want to adjust the brightness of the video, we can just go to the left. If you want to raise the brightness, obviously, we can just go to the right. If we want to adjust the volume, we'll have to press twice in quick succession like this and now we can adjust the volume. If we want to open the full settings menu, we'll just press our button down once and we'll display here. This will allow us to change a number of different things like brightness, contrast, the backlight, sharpness, and a, key, and a few other settings. Okay, so now that we are done, we are going to look at how to remove it and put everything back. Also very simple. So what I like to do is I'm going to take out my cables first and we'll put this over here. Next, we're going to take our kickstand, make sure that's in all the way and down, and then we'll open it up. Once again, we'll put our laptop over here, and then first we'll put our bracket back down in place, make sure our screen is secure under the snaps here, and then first we'll put our screen protector back inside, and we can use our front pocket that you see here to store our cable. 